Hello Dragon Artists and welcome back to the Draw Jeju series in the Dragon Art Room. This week we have had more community members submit photos for our artwork and we're going to have the opportunity to guess who and try to match the artwork and the photograph with the community member. There's also the opportunity for you to photobomb and create a selfie to add on to the Jeju landscapes that you have made and the one that you're going to make this week. So check that video out too. All right, let's get started. So this is a really fun landscape to draw. And today I'm gonna start with my picture in a horizontal position and I'm going to spend a lot of time detailing and adding the rocks in as we go through. Um, so today we're going to work to get a basic shape, but remember that the rocks are gonna look a little bit different in your picture. So I'm just using a small black pen right now to draw the first part of the picture, which is the rock line. So I drew the, the first water or a puddle of water or tide pool of water. And then these are the rocks that you see coming through. And this is just gonna help guide me because I'm gonna be drawing each one of these rocks individually. So now the ocean is going to be, this is where the, the rocks are gonna be coming up on the ocean here for the second part. And this is again, just to give me some guidelines about where I should be building my rocks. So now that I have those basic uh, shapes to guide me, I am going to use my thicker black marker to draw the rocks in one by one. So this is a really cool part uh, too because right now think of yourself as actually building a wall. So you're gonna be stacking the rocks and making a puzzle as you go. Since there are so many rocks, you might want to think about starting off and drawing the rocks in marker right away. That might save you a step uh, a little bit later. And this does, drawing each one of these rocks does take a little bit of time. So you can see I drew some of the uh, the bigger boulders on the side and now I'm adding just a couple extra to the top. Um, there is going to be some bushes and some shrubbery in the upper right hand corner but now I'm just going to outline this rock formation in the far back area. And the cliffs on that side are going to be, because they're farther away, they're going to be smaller and closer together. And the cliffs are also sharper, so the, the rocks are a little bit bigger. And then there are some cool rock formations at the top that I'm going to draw in over here. You don't have to draw the rock formations exactly like they look in the photograph. This is your world and you are the builder. You can create anything that you'd like. You can also draw a picture of uh, something else behind there. Maybe you wanna draw your dream home or maybe you wanna draw a picture of Miss Nicole painting a picture um, or maybe a picture of uh, one of your favorite teachers. So remember, that's where we're gonna draw our tree. Now we're going to draw the cliffs coming down and so you can see I'm drawing them really close together and I'm also trying to follow the natural curve of the mountain. So I'm not drawing them just straight up and down. I'm also trying to add some extra cliffs on there and moving the lines in the different direction. That's very important. Don't draw your lines just straight up and down. They've gotta have a curve to them. 
Imagine you're running a paintbrush over the cliffs of the mountain. So now I have my basic shape of my uh, and layout for my landscape. Now one of the most important parts of this is going to be adding different sized lines and line variation. So I'm turning my marker to the side to make it a little bit thicker and you can see that there's some really great texture and shadows that I'm adding in by doing that. So you don't want straight lines, you want your lines to be bumpy and wavy but you don't want them to look messy, so there's a, a gentle balance. So this is a rather challenging picture to draw and it's really time consuming. So I also encourage you to just hit the mute button. Maybe turn on some good music and allow yourself to relax as you draw this beautiful uh, portrait. I'm gonna speed things up, but you'll see that I'm going back and I'm adding a lot of um, really great lines and adding some extra detail.
Now that you've added all those great shadows and lines onto the rocks and the cliffs, we're gonna move on to the water part. So as you draw your water, take a look at the photograph and think about where your horizon line is. Um, you've got your beautiful trees over there and now we are going to draw the horizon line a little bit above the cliff and then we are, I'm going to add just a few uh, ripples in the water. And uh, this is kind of, I'm holding on to my marker really loosely. And I feel it kind of like I'm using a paintbrush as I go across. Now this is another tricky area. I'm using a thinner pen now, and I'm going to build the rocks that we can see in the photograph underneath the water. So Jeju's water is always very clear, and so you can always see right through it. And so you, I'm building the rocks now that are underwater that I'm going to color later first before I add that beautiful blue water on the top of it. And so when you're doing this, make sure that you add it, uh, use a different pen or a different technique so that way it, you can see the difference between the rocks that are out of the water and the rocks that are underneath the water. Once I've added those rocks, now I'm going to add the ripples in the water just like I did above. And then I, you, after this, you'll also see a sped up version of me coloring and I use a cool layering technique. I can't wait to see what you're going to create. Uh, I hope you enjoy this picture.